Welcome to another mother to son cooking dot com. Today is uh, about this time of the year is when I start doing my barbecue, and as we all know, barbecue is the men's favorite thing to do. When it comes to rubs, and God, I've tried about twenty to thirty different recipes out there. Uh, this is one that you know I basically use. Um, I've eaten barbecue at all the good places here um, in South Texas and throughout the South. Um, I've made many different types of uh, rubs, and whatever. But this is kind of my go-to. You can uh, come back in and do uh, your rubs almost any way. You've got your spices and your various uh, seasonings and that type of stuff that people will use. Um, let me go through what I basically use. Of course, I usually make enough for about three rubs. If you keep it in an airtight container, it will last you through next season. If you don't keep it in an airtight container, it will stale on you. But first, I start off with about two tablespoons of brown sugar. Adds a little bit of sweetness. One of my favorite all-time spices, and I learned this years ago, uh, was your Cavendish Greek sauce. I'll uh, put a tablespoon of that. Then you got a little accent. Then you got your various garlic products: granulated garlic, garlic salt, and garlic powder. Uh, your uh, paprika, I like two to three tablespoons. Then your onion salts, uh, like about one tablespoon. I like the taste of lemon pepper so I'll put at least one tablespoon in it and of course your kosher salt um, you don't need a lot of salt in this so I put about one tablespoon then you got your uh, ground pepper and uh, one of my favorite spices is slap your mama you know I'll, I'll put a teaspoon and a half because that's got a pretty pungent taste um, I always like the coarse ground uh, pepper and then you've got, which I think really adds a little kick to it, is your dry mustard and then some cayenne pepper. So those are the basic ingredients. I'll come back in. What I'm going to do, I'm going to make a triple recipe. I'll put it together and show you what it looks like. All right, now I've got all the various ingredients uh, mixed up. I've stirred it up very well. This is a, about a triple recipe. Probably this weekend I'll do a nice uh, barbecue and that'll leave me enough for two more. You can use this basically as a rub on your brisket. When I come back and then I do my ribs, I'll add just a little bit more brown sugar. You know, of course, most people know that the longer you cook uh, your brisket, the tender it gets. Ribs, um, I'll cook them for three to four hours. Sometimes uh, it depends upon what type of uh, implements you have to come back and cook it with. I like a, a smoker and I'll come back and show you a little bit later the various methods that you can cook it with. You can cook your stuff. Of course the best is a smoker then you have your grill and you can cook them in um, your oven. Oven doesn't give the nice real smoking uh, flavor. What you're looking for is a nice little crust on top of the uh, meat when I come back and I, I do my briskets, I'll rub it down with olive oil or any type of oil, and that way your rub's going to stick on it very good. You very heavily coat it. The only difference when I cook my ribs, I'll add just a little bit more brown sugar in it. And what I like to do, I like to come back and coat the entire rib in a in a mustard, you know, your regular old mustard. That way it'll stick very well to it and of course the mustard will burn off. So this is you know the basis uh, start of my barbecue season. I'll come back in and when I do the barbecue and I do like you know uh, barbecue sauce but that's another uh, series that I'll show you how to do so this is just a basic good one I hope you all will try it and make your own rubs. They're very easy. The biggest thing is you get a basic recipe, you find out what ing uh, seasoning ingredients is that you like, and you come back and add to it. A lot of times I don't have all this stuff. Um, so, But this is my basic what I'll use if I have it all. 
so anyways, bon petit, and we'll be seeing you soon again on mother2son.com.